dear student let us continue module 3 in this lecture video we will be studying profiles and classes of internet of things so let us start profiles and compliances so what happens uh, here so many things are connected with the internet so many objects small objects big objects sensors actuators they will be connected with the internet in iot which can share the data and use the data so in order to make things proper uh, all the uh, protocols all the features are profiled if any thing it is getting added in the iot that should be satisfied the profile and certification or it should be compiled complied with the standard whatever it is made for the internet of things for example profile definition certifications and promotion by alliances can help implementers develop solutions that guarantee interoperability and or interchangeability of devices so these profiles and compliances it allows the implementers to develop solutions uh, that uh, uh, that uh, give guarantee for things to interoperate and interchange the data some of the main industry organizations working on profile definitions and certifications for iot constraint nodes and networks so these are the some main important organizations who are working for giving certification for the iot constraint nodes and networks so the different organizations are internet protocol for smart objects ipso alliance then y sun alliance trade alliance ipv6 ready low so these are the four organizations which provides certification and it defines the profile for iot things the alliance uh, the first one internet protocol for smart object ipso alliance this alliance initially focused on promoting ip as the premier solution for the smart objects communication the in the beginning they thought that only ip is main thing for providing smart object communication but today it is more focused on how to use ip with the ipso alliance organizing interoperability tests between alliance members to validate that ip for smart objects can work together and properly implement industry standards so uh, today it is more focused on uh, how to use ip it uh, it is not uh, focusing on the internet protocol but it also uh, focus on how to use internet protocol with IA, IPSO alliance organizing interoperability tests between alliance members to validate that IP for smart objects can work together and properly implement industry standards. Second uh, organization that is Y Sun Alliance. The Wisons main focus is on IEEE 802.15.4G protocol and its support for multi-service and secure IPv6 communications with applications running over the UDP transport layer. So, what is, what is the main features of Wison Alliance? What uh, what is the main focus is? The main focus of Wison Alliance is uh, on the IEEE 802.15.4G protocol, 
and uh, it uh, it's a support for multi service and secure uh, it provides multi service and it uh, provides security for the ipv6 uh, communications with the applications uh, running over the user datagram protocol on transport layer the utilities industry is the main area of focus for the wisen alliance so uh, this is the utilities industry uh, is the main area uh, of focus for the wisen alliance the wisen field area network profile enables smart utility network to provide resilient secure and cost effective connectivity with extremely good coverage in a range of topographic environments from dense urban neighborhoods to rural areas so it is uh, uh, this wise and uh, it uh, enables the field area network uh, uh, the field area network it enables a smart utility network and it provides resilient secure and cost effective uh, connectivity with extremely good coverage in a range of topographic environments from dense urban neighborhoods to rural areas. Next organization is Thread. So Thread Group has defined an IPv6 based wireless profile that provides the best way to connect more than 250 devices into low power wireless mesh network so it is a thread which defines internet protocol for specific based wireless profile uh, it uh, defines some profile uh, that provides the best way to connect more than 250 devices into a low power wireless mesh network so it is a thread organization next organization is and last or next and last uh, organization is ipv6 ready low so the IPv6 Ready Logo program has established conformance and interoperability testing programs with the intent of increasing user confidence with implementing IPv6. It has established conformance and interoperability testing program with the intent of increasing user confidence when implementing IPv6. The IPv6 core and specific IPv6 components such as DHCP, IPsec, and customer edge router certifications are in place. So, all these things are in place. So, these organizations are uh, uh, they, uh, they, they play the main role in defining. Uh, uh, rules, regulations, standards, profiles, and compliances, uh, uh, so that uh, the developer uh, can uh, develop any uh, software uh, 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 following these uh, profiles and standards, and those products will be uh, allowed to work with. The Internet of Things in the Internet of Things. So, this is the main things. So, we will wind up the, uh, this one in the next lecture video. We will be studying application protocol for Internet of Things. Thank you.